Welcome back. So as Russia's invasion of Ukraine continues, the war goes on. Hospitals helping the boost on the ground are in dire need of wound kits. They need local uh, other uh, uh, kits as well. Local nonprofits, they are stepping up to help. So we've got Kristen Gaspar, who is the president and CEO of Palomar Health Foundation. She's with me now to give us updates on the relief efforts there. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Jenny. Thanks for having me. Of course. Okay, so first of all, you know, unfortunately, the fighting there continues. These hospitals are just inundated and they are lacking so much material that they need. What are we doing here locally to help? Well, Palmar Health is making an effort to meet the medical needs in Ukraine. As you know, there are a variety of humanitarian efforts happening, lots of organizations out there fundraising, but they're not directly fundraising to meet these medical needs. We have hospitals that are not operational in many times in Ukraine. Some are, some aren't. The U.S. Embassy has been very helpful in allowing us to know which hospitals are in need of supplies and where they can actually go and what supplies are needed. So we have a variety of people from our community that have extra PPE, let's say, from the pandemic response. Well, right now they're not looking for PPE, it's other medical supplies. So Palomar has been working closely with one of our physicians, Dr. Bolkin. Dr. Bolkin's Ukrainian, he has friends and family there. And it's been very helpful to have that close connection because we are able to identify and then work through a local nonprofit to package supplies to get them where they're needed. But most importantly, when the U.S. is going to allow citizens to re-enter, we have a team of Palomar Health clinicians that are going to go to Ukraine on a medical mission to save lives. So tell me more, you know, it's great that you guys have Dr. Bulk in there because as you said, it really bridges that gap, just, you know, even language wise, but just knowing what is needed. So when you guys are putting together these kits, what are you seeing is at the forefront of the need? Well, every day here in the U.S., for example, in our hospitals, there are supplies that just get tossed and uh, they're sorely needed. So at this point in time, we're collecting supplies that ordinarily would be thrown out of the, the hospitals at the end of the day and sending those over. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time. This is not unique to this particular response. We have some great local nonprofits that help us identify all sorts of areas throughout the globe that are in need. And so you think about a time of war and the type of supplies that are needed, they're very different than your day-to-day -day supplies. And so it's been very nice to have the local connections to help inform us on, on what is needed. And then we're able to supplement some of those medical supplies because we might not have unused supplies that we can send, but that's where we can use fundraising dollars to apply to these efforts. Something very unique about what Palomar Health Foundation is doing, 100% of the dollars that are raised are going back to this effort, no overhead costs. A lot of times when you contribute to various fundraisers, very little goes back to the actual effort. So we're really proud to bring this effort forward. 100% of any donations received will go back to the Ukrainian people, whether it's through that medical mission and getting our physicians there or those much needed medical supplies. People can go to palomarhealthfoundation.org backslash Ukraine and they can donate there. Perfect, and I think you guys have a shipment going out early this week, right? Is that correct? We do, our first okay. shipment will go out uh, hopefully early this week. Again, it's very important that we know that these supplies actually get there. That's a, a carefully coordinated effort. So again, just watch where your dollars are going these days. Make sure you're checking out organizations. Uh, again, Dr. Bolkin, we thank you so much. Uh, the tremendous effort, just the leadership that Dr. Bolkin has taken in this effort. It's been really inspiring and really grateful. This started as an internal effort with our Palomar Health employees, and then it caught, caught on beyond Palomar Health employees. Uh, businesses started contacting me and saying, hey, can we be part of this effort? If my business comes in, can we do a matching program? And the answer is yes. If you have a local business that wants to get involved, wants to do a match with your own employees, I'm happy to accommodate that uh, within the foundation. That's great, just because I think a lot of us are watching you know, at home and we want to help, but we're unsure. Is our money really going to get there? Is the aid really going to get there? So this is really um, a direct way
way to help. Uh, can sure. you give that website one more time to see you know, if people want to help fundraise and help in any other way? Absolutely. It's palomerhealthfoundation.org backslash Ukraine, or you can just visit palomerhealthfoundation.org and go to Ways to Give. Kristen Gaspar, President and CEO of Palomar Health Foundation. I believe we're going to be checking in with you next week as those shipments start to head out. So we appreciate your time and what you're doing. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you. Thank you.